We have a really good workout for you today. I'm going to give you two options of ways to do it. You can do it as an interval workout or you can do it based on reps depending on what kind of equipment you have at home and if you have a timer or not. So check my website for the breakdown. All the information you need to do this workout for free at your house will be there. Okay, we're going to get your metabolism pumping right away with jumping jacks. So just start out with a normal jumping jack. Get your heart rate pumping and go as quickly as you can to get your blood flowing. Okay, next I'm going to do back lifts. So you can do this without the ball, um, just the same way all you would do is lay on the floor instead of laying with your stomach on a ball. But put your hands behind your head and we're going to lift straight up, nice and high, pulling in tight. You'll feel your butt get tight and go back down. Make sure you breathe. Next we have burpees. So you're going to squat down on the floor, put your hands below you, jump your feet out to a push-up position. Do a push-up with really good form from your knees if you have to. Jump your feet forward, hands come up, and jump and touch the ceiling. That's one. Two. Okay, the next exercise, we're going to do a butt lift. <laughs> You can also do this one laying on the floor. The only difference is your arms would be out like this or out in front of you while you lay down. And you're going to lift your heels toward the ceiling so your butt gets nice and tight and you're working this lower back area and all this, giving yourself a homemade butt lift. And just do it so you hit your reps or your time if that's what you're going for. Next we're doing high knees, so just run in place. Knees getting nice and high, like you can drive them towards your chest. Next we're gonna work our obliques, so you're gonna come into a side plank, hand right below your shoulder, legs stretch out. If you're having trouble balancing, put your top leg behind you. Um, if you have the balance, okay, just stack them one on top of the other. Drop your hip so it touches the ground, and then pushes up toward the ceiling. That's one, two, three. Okay, now I'm doing the right side. Okay, next we're gonna do mountain climbers. So you're gonna go back to that push-up position. Hands come flat on the floor below your shoulders and you're gonna drive your knees to your chest one at a time and switch, going nice and fast keeping your heart rate up the whole time. Okay, next you're doing abs, so lay down on your back. Your back, your hands are gonna come flat out at your sides. Feet are gonna stretch out while your low back presses into the ground. Lift your legs, lift your hips, and then keep going. If you can, tap the ground behind your head. If you can't, that's fine. You might only get to here, and that might be enough. Just go wherever you can, and then you're gonna roll back down on your back, slowly lower your legs, and do it again. So up, lift your hips, keep going, touch, roll back down. Nice fluid motions, none of this should be jerking. Okay, next we're gonna do jump squats with the heel tap. So you're gonna put your feet a little bit more than hip distance apart, toes facing forward. You're gonna squat so your thighs get nice and parallel to the ground, butt points out to the wall behind you, your back stays nice and straight, and you're gonna jump, tap your heels, and go straight back into it. I'm gonna show you from the side. Thighs come parallel to the ground, butt points out, back is straight, and you're gonna jump, tap your heels. That's three, four, Five. Next we're going to do walking push-ups. So you're going to come out into your plank position. I'm going to do this kind of at an angle. Feet come out behind you, do a push-up, and then you're going to walk your hand and your foot over and take a big step to the right. Go down, do it one more time to the right if you have room, down, and then we're going to walk the other direction. Each push-up counts as one rep. 
Okay, next we're doing knee tucks. So you're gonna start with your feet together. You're gonna squat down, but keeping those knees close. And you're gonna jump up, lifting your knees to your chest. Jump, down, jump, down, jump. Next, we're gonna work on our low abs and those sexy lines you can get right on your hips. So we're gonna go into staff pose, which basically means sitting up really straight with your legs out in front of you. Your hands are gonna come down next to you to support you. And we're gonna lift one leg at a time. So right leg, left leg, that's one. Right, left, that's two. And you're gonna keep your back nice and straight. You'll feel it all through here. Okay, next we have lunge jumps. So we're gonna start in a lunging position. Leg is going straight down to the floor. This leg is parallel with the floor. Hands are gonna switch as you jump and so will your legs. So jump in the air. Oops, I did my hands backwards. And land in the lunge position. Jump, Woo. lunge. Next we're gonna do jump kicks. So we're gonna start standing on our right foot. Left leg goes up and kick, kick. Okay, last exercise, other side. Stand on your left this time, right leg goes up and we're gonna switch and kick. Okay, everyone, thank you for working out with me today. I hope you enjoy the workout. Check my website for the breakdown.